My friends, welcome to this tutorial about creating games with Solaris. In this video, we'll learn or start learning how to change the HUD. So the HUD is the head up display. It means all the information that is displayed on top of the screen, like all these icons here. We have a pause icon, we have an attack icon, we have two item icons. We have the heart counter and the money counter. And um, all of this is completely configurable. These are just defined in Lua scripts. And in this video, we will start by completely changing the style of the HUD. And we will learn how to make um, like a, a black bar, which will be, for example, on top, on top of the screen. Let, like, let's say the 24 pixels on top of the screen would be reserved for the HUD and only the rest of the screen will be the playable area. Um, so how do we do that? We could simply uh, move all our HUD stuff to the top and maybe even you know, display a black rectangle here, but we don't want the, the hero to be able to, to work in that region below the HUD. Um, because, yeah, it would be just Oh, I'm not on the same map. That's funny. Let's say if I if if the HUD is a, a dedicated region um, that is not supposed to be be a playable part of the of the map, I don't want the hero to be able to to go there. And it means that we want to actually resize the camera, and that's why we learned about the camera in previous tutorials actually and how do we do that um, every time a map starts so any map we want to access the camera and resize it so one way to do that there are multiple ways to to do that but one easy way in is in this game manager Lua script which does create a game before starting the game and we can use the event on map changed. So anytime a new map is becoming the active map, we want to be notified here and we want to get the camera of that new map. Map get camera, camera and resize the camera. So in previous tutorials, we learned that the camera is just a regular map entity. It has some coordinates on the screen. Uh, on the map, I mean, and it also has a size. So we can just change its size. Instead of uh, 320 by 240, which is the default size of the screen, we want to reduce the height here. We said 24 pixels less, so it should be 216. So if you test this small code, you now have a black bar on, on the bottom of the screen. And that's because we resized the camera, but we still display the camera um, in the upper left part of our screen here. And now the, the camera will correctly scroll when the hero goes up or down because its height is smaller than the map height. And when I reach the bottom part of the screen of the map here, I'm correctly stuck as expected and I cannot walk uh, under my my HUD part here. But we said we wanted to display the HUD on top of the screen and not on the bottom of the screen for this example. So how do we do that? We can also tell the camera to be displayed not at 0, 0 in screen coordinates but at 0, 0,24. And you can check the documentation, but there is this function here, set position on screen. So here you define the position of the camera relative to the screen and not relative to the map this time. The camera is a bit special because it has coordinates in both spaces. Set position on screen, uh, we said 0, 24.
And okay, now our camera is configured to be smaller than the screen and to be displayed 24 pixels uh, below the upper left corner of the screen. So that's what we wanted. And yeah, the um, for now in Solaris 1.6, there is only one camera. So the main, the main use of um, this feature, being able to resize the camera and to decide where it is displayed on the screen, is probably precisely to make this kind of fixed HUD. Um, but in Solaris 1.7, it will be possible to handle multiple cameras at a time and even multiple heroes. So uh, it means, yes, it means that multiplayer will be possible even with um, split screens. Just by using these features of resizing the, the camera and setting where it is displayed on the screen. But for now in Solaris 1.6, um, we, it will be good enough to play with the HUD. So let's now try to see what we can do. We want to move all of this information um, to the top bar. And we want to remove pause and sword and also one of the both item icons, let's say. So let's go. Um, we have this file here, HUD config.lua, which is not really code, but pure configuration about which HUD script we want to display and where on the screen. So we want to display the hearts, we want to display the money, but not at these coordinates. By the way, negative coordinates mean that we, for, for the Y coordinates, means that we uh, measure from the bottom of the screen instead of from the top of the screen. So we want to display the money, let's say, um, in the top right part of our screen. So we will use negative X coordinates actually, maybe minus 32 and Y should be 8. Uh, we want to remove the pause icon. We want to keep, let's say, one item icon. And we want to remove the second one. Remove attack and remove action. Um, our item I icon should be somewhere here. Y should be 0. And since we moved the money counter in the upper right part of our screen. Uh, we want to adjust the position of our hearts here. So 32 pixels more to the left, which is 121. Okay, let's see what we have. Yay, it works. So it's probably not perfectly aligned and <clears throat> also just not nice. I mean, probably in a, in a real game, you, you would do something a little bit prettier than just a black bar. And um, if you want this kind of HUD, probably not a round icon like that for your items. But I just wanted to show you the, the idea, the, the principle, and how easy it is to have a fixed HUD like that. Um, by the way, don't forget that if you ever decide to resize the camera, then maybe your existing map maps will no longer be adapted to that new size. For example, if I, if I go to this dungeon here, this particular room used to be... Um, to have exactly the same, same height of, of, as the camera, so um, it might, you might want to adjust it again to avoid this, this scrolling here. Um, but... I want to show you in, in the other map example, maybe in this map, uh, inside dungeon. Cause in that map, we had a lot of, we had a lot of small rooms that had on purpose exactly the same size as the, as the screen. But now that the camera is smaller than the screen, um, probably it's not really ideal. So, the good thing is that usually you don't change the size of the camera a lot during the development of your project. You just decide it the first time at the beginning and and then you probably 
probably probably don't want to to change it very often but if it happens maybe you have to resize all your rooms um okay yeah because here we had a lot of rooms with um, separators and they used to have exactly the size of the screen 320 by 240 so if you change the style of HUD to adopt a black bar like that and all yeah all your cameras uh, have a, a new size don't forget that you may break existing stuff oh I have something wrong in my code here but uh, it doesn't really matter um, okay so again what is important is um, to learn that the camera can be actually resized it does not need to be exactly the size of the screen it can be smaller and you can use this new extra space to display some information like your HUD okay um, I hope this was clear enough and that you learned a lot again about the camera and the HUD and in the next tutorial we will see um, how to create a new HUD element so thank you all for watching that's all for now. Bye.